Ho, 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 motherfuckers. Back for another 12 days of Axmas. And today we have uh, fucking Jack Frost. 1997 movie. Not to be mistaken for the fucking Michael Keaton family friendly bullshit Christmas movie that came out shortly around the same time or the year after. Fuck that movie. Get this one. Uh, directed by Michael Cooney. It's just a blast. If you want a movie where you can just sit back, turn your brain off, get messed up and have some laughs, Jack Frost is the movie. Uh, so they're transporting this violent killer named Jack Frost to prison. <clears throat> and there's an accident where the he, he ends up getting free and he kills one of the officers in the back of the truck with him. Then the truck crashes and somehow some biological hazardous waste gets spilled on him and the surrounding snowbanks, which merges his DNA with the snow. Then now he's a killer snowman out for revenge against the sheriff of a small town that caught him. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? But it is great. Uh, you've got Shannon Elizabeth in this. Might even be one of her first roles. Um, it's definitely before uh, American Pie. Um, of course, they, they sexualize her a bit as well with a uh, pretty funny bathtub scene in the snowman <laughs> um, fucking icicle teeth are pretty funny shit uh, just the effects were kind of cool with him melting down into water to slip through cracks and refreezing just to kill people I loved it um, it's really funny part when one of the guys is like Jack grabs him and he starts stabbing him with a pin and the suit clearly looks like styrofoam at that point because you can see the puncture holes instead of like snow falling there's just solid fucking holes like if you stabbed a, a styro ball or something like that um, it's a pure cheese fest so if you're one of those serious cunts out there that hates any semblance of comedy in your horror, stay away from this one. Just do yourself a favor, don't even bother. But, if you have a sense of humor and you're not an uptight twat, watch Jack Frost because it is so much fun. But, PSA, <coughs> there is a sequel for this movie. Don't fucking bother. Jack Frost 2, uh, it felt like it tries way too hard to capture the same campy feeling of Jack Frost here, but it fails. Like, a fucking snowman in the Bahamas? Are you fucking kidding me? Anyways, that might be a review for a different time. Uh,. Pretty sure the second one is on Tubi if I do get brave enough to rewatch it. Probably not though because I think I've only made it through that movie once and that was after about six attempts. So just forget that one even exists. If anyone ever mentions that movie to you or suggests you watch it, kick them right in the junk. But this one you need uh, the transfer from vinegar syndrome was phenomenal beats the shit out of the old VHS that's for sure um, yeah just lots of cheesy fun with a killer snowman with fucking really really bad one-liners 
there's a lot of puns in this and jokes that are they're pretty cringe but that's what adds to the appeal <laughs> like fuck I was I was 13 when I first saw this fucking movie so this review might have a hint of nostalgia in it but I love it man it's just a really fun one and like a small town it's like Snowminton or something uh, yeah Snowminton which just makes me think of Edmonton in Canada so another little <clears throat> reason why I like it I think go Canada <laughs> but yeah uh, I also heard that Jack Frost is streaming on Tubi so if you missed out on the Vinegar Syndrome Black Friday sale and didn't get this for $15 and you don't have money to get it full price or you don't want to spend that much on a goofy horror movie jump on Tubi and watch it and then you'll change your mind and you'll buy it trust me it's too much fun to not love this movie and with that that sums up the review cheesy acting cheesy one liners but what the hell else do you expect from a killer snowman movie guys this one definitely takes the place of Frosty the Snowman every year from now on Thanks for watching, folks. Stay sleazy. Peace.